to kick off the Raikou build, we are going to lay out all of the individual pieces, starting with the head over here on the left side. Initially, we use a bunch of three links, some flats, and a six link for the main details of the head. And then we have some additional three links that are going to be used out to build the side of the head. For the main body, we use a few different longer link pieces. Uh, the top one there is for the sort of main frame, and then we have a few additional ones for uh, just building out some width. Now over on the right side, we have our legs for the build. These are made from eight link pieces, and down at the bottom, we are going to be laying out the tail. Onto the first welds of the build. To secure the chains in their position, I go through and I weld all of the in-between sections uh, between each of the thicker chains. Doing this for the main body and for the legs at first. And even though they are pretty secure, they aren't perfect here. So sometimes I do have to make some quick little adjustments before I do the final welds. I clean them up with an angle grinder and it is time to put them together. So you can see here, I took the two side pieces and started building out the main body for Raikou. Making sure everything lines up nice and neat before adding the legs on. It's a subtle change, but the front leg and back leg are slightly different just to make him get a little bit more of that prow-like approach. Once I have three legs on, I make sure that he is secure before adding that fourth leg and making it so that he can stand up all by himself. Now that the main body is done, we can start building out the head. So like I said, I used three links for the head and I'm playing around with a few different positions here before settling on the sideways position for those three links. I then use some open three links to also build the, uh, the hair or the fluff, whatever it is that Raikou's got going on back there. This side took a little bit more playing around with because the chain wasn't quite as tight and I wanted to make sure that it matched the other side as well, but I think we eventually got there pretty good. We tacked the bottom and then tacked the top of it just again to make sure it was aligned and decided to clean it up just a little bit with the Dremel before adding the other pieces to make sure that I could get clean welds all the way around. Now that we have the main part of the head, we can start adding those additional details that really will make Raikou look like Raikou. To start out, we are going to make his front head plate, which is definitely one of his more defining features. Using a six link and then a two link, which I just showed, we're going to build out sort of the front because it does have a little bit of a peak down at the bottom. So some quick welds just to hold it in place and adding it to the head. Now, after further thought, it doesn't really look like what I wanted it to, so we are going to scrap that idea and start with something different. Got to grind it down, make sure to get those welds off so that when we start clean, we can start clean. Now the grinding is done, I'm actually going to take two more three link pieces and we're going to add them to the top of the head. So instead of it being on top of those other links, it'll be to the side, which honestly makes it a little bit more in line with the head and doesn't stand out quite as much. Next, we're going to add on his front star. I'm not exactly sure what it is. They're whiskers, spikes, something, but whatever it is, you'll know what it is, especially once it's painted. We are using the flat links to add those on and quickly tack them all on as well so that we can finish up the headpiece. We use one more link right there on top, which kind of gives him those two little divots as well. Uh, it sort of ended up being a happy little accident for this case. Add one more single link onto the back to finish off the fluff, and that is going to give us the main part of Raikou's head. Now for me, this is really where the design starts coming together now that we have the head. We're going to add a few additional pieces behind the other three links there just to fill it out a little bit more. And for me, I think it was a good add. Sometimes it's those small details that really make a difference. The final part of the head now is going to be Raikou's big old saber tooth teeth. Uh, originally, this was gonna be some forward facing three links, but when the design changed, so did this, and I would say for the better. Now for some of the other pieces that really make Raikou Raikou, we're going to start with his 
sort of lightning bolt tail. I know it's not actual lightning, but it is supposed to resemble that. So once we have that welded on, we are going to also add in the other one of Raikou's defining features, which are going to be his purple flow. And it's really hard to say which of the three legendary beasts has the best flow, but I do think that Raikou, it's either Raikou or Suicune. Hard to tell. Leave in the comments what you think. And that is going to give us the final uh, welding raw chain form for Raikou. Next is time to clean it up. So we use the angle grinder with a ceramic flap disc uh, for the main part of the cleanup, just getting all the bigger welds where I can reach them and finishing up the finer details with my little Dremel tool. Um, unfortunately, that angle grinder can't really reach a lot of the spots, especially those small spots. Um, and so the Dremel has been a super effective tool for it. As you can see here, we do now have Raikou's final uh, raw chain form. Wanted to get a quick preview before we get onto the paint, just so you can see what it looks like without. And with that, we are onto the paint. Missed the skinny bit there, but we started out with a yellow base coat. And we are going to now start with the face with his blue star whisker face plate thingamajig. I do love the painting process because it really does bring forth the rest of the design uh, and starts giving him character. Here we use that same blue on the tail. Got to make sure to get all the crevices and there are quite a few when using bike chains. This is probably one of the most tedious parts. Uh, now that I've gotten a pretty good amount of experience with the welding portions, um, designing it and then actually painting it probably take as much if not more time than the welding itself. Once we have the blues done, we will jump into the purples, seeing that we have the main yellow body. Uh, that does cover a good portion of the work. So uh, the purple, again, we wanna make sure to get between all the little cracks and crevices in here, all the in-between sections of the bike chains so that when you take a look at it, you don't see any yellow shining through. Now that we are all done with the purple flow, we are going to move back to the headpiece to finish that off with a very, very dark gray. It does look black, but it is a dark gray. And I think it's supposed to sort of look storm cloudish. I'm not exactly sure on the design, but I do love the look. Once we finish up with the dark grays of the head plate, we are going to be going back through and adding the whites for the additional hair fluff. I'm pretty sure it's fluff. Uh, and now that I look back on it, I'm pretty sure the dark gray is for storm clouds. The white fluff is just for regular clouds and everything else is, well, I guess I don't know what the purple would be for, but the blue is for lightning. Yellow is definitely lightning electric. And I'll stop rambling so you can enjoy some of this painting process in peace. And a short piece that was because we are already back to talk about the second paint coat of the body, which is Raikou's chest, belly, and a little bit on the booty, as well as the inside of the legs. He has a uh, white coat as well there. As for the final details, we now are back to the dark gray to paint on Raikou's stripes, Vs. I'm not exactly sure what to call these, but they're the additional sort of dark details that are really the small things that bring the final design together.
And there we have it. Raikou, the legendary beast, the lightning beast of the trio in its final painted form. Let me know in the comments what you think about this design, what you think about the process, and which Pokemon you would like to see in the future. As a final reminder, we did Suicune as the celebratory 500 sub sculpture. Raikou was for celebrating 1000 subs here on YouTube, and we will be doing Entei when we hit 1500 subs. So if you enjoy this, if you wanna see more of it, make sure to like and subscribe on this video. Comment below what Pokemon you want to see next. And if you want to help support the channel, you can do so over on Patreon or Ko-Fi, where I've got a full collection of my art, as well as early release videos and some background behind the scenes videos. Hope you enjoyed the build and see you next time.